Alright guys, so here we go. We've got all the nuts out. Let's find out what we broke, okay? So, let's unveil it. Well, on first inspection, it doesn't look that bad, but as you spin it, you can actually find pieces that have broken. We'll spin this and yep right there it bound it broke the weld for a certain distance yep, bound up again right there so I'm gonna have to go back through I'm gonna have to re-weld it and this time we'll make sure see okay the first thing you're going to do is set your drive shafts in and then you're going to measure from the inside of the gear to the inside of the opposite gear to give you the length of your locker block. In my case, it's one and three eighths. So now we're going to mark that off on our one and a quarter inch steel. And then we're going to drill a five eighths of an inch hole through it and then cut it off in order to make our block. So as you can see, here is my newly redesigned locker block. So once you take the one quarter inch and you drill the holes through, you can then put your pin through, put your gears on, line it up perfectly so it's at 90 degrees to the external gear. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld this internal edge and then I'm going to weld the gear itself directly on the top on either side and then from there I'll be able to drop it in and we should be all set well after I weld up the shaft gears of course and if you can see inside there this is what it'll look like just before I weld it so it gives me points all the way around the entire piece of square tubing along with welding the regular gears here like we did before we'll be able to weld this entire inside piece across the back side of this gear all right now so if we did this right in theory we should be able to lift it up we should be able to slide this gear off of the end the center pin should drop out if necessary and from here we should be able to weld across that center piece So from here, we should be able to weld all four sides, flip it around, weld all four sides, and then we should be able to put the outer gear back on and be fully lockered. Alright, so basically you can see we're still steaming, and what I've done here, and I'll post up a couple of pictures at the end of the video, is I've gone through and I've welded on the end of the piece of square steel. On the end of the piece of square steel here, I have gone through and I've welded the ends on each side. So that that way, you're locking to your outer gear through this along with these pieces here. So essentially, we've created a locker what, like what you would install on a full-size vehicle. So now, this gear is welded all the way across to this gear, and your center shaft is going through these which are welded plus the center piece of steel it's going through that and binding everything totally together so now we're gonna stick the outside ring on and double check that it spins and everything and we should be all set
and there we go. So the outside ring is on, it's able to flex back and forth because of the fact that we left those pins. As you can see it still moves and we've got a solid entire welded core so hopefully we won't shatter it again when we're pushing everything with the 22 inch pathfinders. Thanks guys. If you've enjoyed the videos, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, join in on the fun. So hey guys, I don't usually do shout outs, but I'm going to do one on this video. Um, this shout out's for Murray Mayhem. He, uh, he's got a lawnmower based channel, decided to build a 6x6, stuff like that. You know, he's got a southern accent and he kind of talks too much, but otherwise than that he sounds like a nice guy. He's, uh, he's really helpful. He's given me numerous different hints and things along this build that he didn't have to. Uh, some of them I used and some of them I kept on the side for this year's lawn tractor season. So yeah, look him up. You know, he talks a little too much, irritating southern accent, but you know, we all got faults. Have fun guys.